Hey guys, I'm Jessica Sterling. I am a portrait and event photographer based in Los Angeles for the last 10 years. And today I thought I would share a little bit about, <laughs> there's a lot of like little items that I think are actually quite important because sometimes they're like a make break thing as to whether or not you can deliver your job. Okay, I'll try to do this fast. Super important, grip tape. I use a skinny kind, what is this, one inch? Something like that. It's for everything, you know, like. I'm not gonna stick it on my nose like a five-year-old. Little clippies, such as this, which is great for if you're out in the field and you have a reflector and you wanna clip it to stand and you're like, oh no, I forgot a clip. No, you didn't, because you have it in your bag. Or if you're working with seamless backdrops and you um, wanna stop them from unrolling. I love my LumaQuest Quick Bounce, as I mentioned in an earlier video. Um, for, you know, you put it on the flash and it bounces. Um, this one's sort of war-torn, as you can see. Um, and, but it's great for on-camera flash. Uh, I carry this guy. This is a Giotto thingy to clean dust off your stuff, you know, or if you, um, you know, want to clean up the inside of your camera body. Uh, I love zip ties. They're great for many reasons, um, just in case something breaks or whatever. Um, you have them around or you need to attach things. I always keep a little bit of black wrap. Um, this is that metal foil stuff, just in case. Uh, you know, you want to shape the light from your flashes and you need something that's heat resistant. Black wrap is the way to go. Um, I usually fold it up tidier than that. I always carry a Leatherman or a Swiss Army knife. Obviously, these are not good for airplane travel, so you gotta watch that. But, you know, super handy in case something gets kind of stuck. Like, you have, you know, in photography, you have all these, like, things screwed together. Um, and sometimes they get all locked up and you're like, oh no, I can't get them apart. No, oh, that's what a Leatherman is for. I uh, carry a pencil, Sharpie. Um, I have a, <laughs> you can tell this is in no particular order. I, I have a little card reader to accept client payments if I need to. Um, this is kind of important. It's a LED flashlight. And if I'm in an area uh, or at an event that is in a really big conference uh, center or something like that or someplace where it's really dark and there's a lot of people and if the lights go out then there will be no lighting. I actually attach this to my person so I know where it is like around a, a, a lanyard or something like that in case of emergencies. It's also handy if you need to find something in your bag. Uh, something to clean my lens with. Um, I love this Expo Disc. I use it to set exposure and white balance. Um, they're fantastic. This one I've had for years. It's uh, snacks. Because uh, they get hungry, for gosh sakes. Uh, sewing kit. Just in case I had, one time the hem of my pants came undone when I was on a job and I was like, oh no, what do I do? Um, these are great, these bongo tie things, just in case you need to attach a flash to something or, uh, you know, a seamless roll of paper or whatever. They're just very handy. Um, I always carry some sunscreen, because I'm fair. A uh, little notebook in case I need to make notes. Although, to be honest, I don't usually use this. I use my phone instead. Um, now, this little baggie has all kinds of stuff in it. It's got earplugs. Uh, it has a little Swiss Army knife. I use uh, electrolyte mix, like emergency. Um, oh, actually, this is a better example. Here's some tape, all wrapped up on itself. Grip tape. Uh, again, that's a nicer thing, a black wrap, that metal stuff. Um, I have a rubber band which, believe it or not, can be super handy in case, you know, you need to attach something to your flash. Uh, cough drop in case all of a sudden you get a cough and you're like, oh no. I love, um, this is my polarizer. This one is a, what brand is this? It's from Germany. Uh, it's a very nice polarizer, B&W. Uh, I use that, it's a skinny kind. Um, that's actually super handy to have. Uh, I have a plastic bag. In case it starts to rain and I need to put my camera in something uh, so it doesn't get wet, I have a vest uh, to wear because uh, usually I'm wearing all black and if I'm out and about and I'm going to have to shoot in an intersection where there's a lot of cars and people driving around, just safety first. Uh, a little chapstick, lipstick, girl's best friend. Um, and then bubble level. This sucker man is so important, obviously for architectural photography, um, but great for ambient shots at events where you want to get a really nice 
thing or any kind of shot where everything needs to be square and level. You know, you can hypothetically correct it all in Lightroom and Photoshop, but if there's people involved, it can get kind of funky looking. Um, so it's nice to get it right in camera. All right, so don't worry, we're hitting the home stretch. I always carry extra AA batteries in a brand new package. <laughs> These are brand new. For clients, um, when I'm doing portraits, I have stuff to clip their clothing back, you know, like a jacket or it's very common. It needs to fit a little bit better in the shoulders. Great little thing to have in your bag. A uh, little bit of hairspray to smooth down flyaways. If you have a hair and makeup artist with you, that's great, but you don't always. Um, and it's nice to just have like a lint roller, little guy with you. Um, and then for guys, I often carry a little bit of powder, face powder, and little cotton squares just to cut the shine. Um, and for women too sometimes. Usually women already have powder on. But... And I hope that's helpful. <laughs> and um, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments below. Uh, and uh, be sure to get out and capture your own images of life. Thanks for watching. <laughs>